The future no longer so bright up here, home to some of the millions of Brazilians who climbed out of poverty in recent years and now struggle to keep from falling back in. As their neighbor's purchasing power grew, Alan and Barbara launched a small cake business. Our dream was to own our own house, she says. But with the Brazilian economy in free fall, costs are up and sales are down. I'm 24 years old and I've never seen anything like this, he says. My parents told me about the hard times, but today is tough. Brazil saw a decade of unprecedented growth on the back of commodities sales to China. Now, its worst recession in nearly a century. It was precarious neighborhoods like Rocinha that really benefited during the boom years, but now businesses are closing. With inflation running at over 10 percent and sky-high interest rates, everyone is feeling the squeeze. We've got to save now, just spend on food and the basics, says this woman. After years of easy credit, more Brazilians have color TVs than are connected to a sewage system. But interest rates have soared to over 14 percent. I know a lot of people who bought cars or motorcycles to work like me, he says. Now they don't know how they can pay. Many of Brazil's poorest benefited from subsidized housing and income supplements, programs being slashed as the government reins in spending. The economic downturn fueling protests against the leftist Workers' Party, in power since 2003 and now embroiled in a massive bribery scandal. This, as the burden for many of their initial supporters, gets harder to bear. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Rio de Janeiro.